Alright. See, what I like about this game is that I'm not... I'm not scared, first of all. <laughs> I know that might come off as... No, really, guys, I'm not, I'm not scared. It's just... It's like, it's like saying, like, I'm not crying, guys. There's just something in my eye. Um... <laughs> but no, I'm not... I, I am not actually scared. Uh... It's intense, it's making me a little anxious, but that's about it. Alright, we need some herbs. Wrong way. <laughs> oh wait, we want I wanna take the grenade launcher. Because I have a feeling we're gonna be fighting some sort of boss. Which means we can finally get some use out of those acid rounds. Because I've been saving them. Well, People have told me that they're for the boss killing weapon. So I figure save the acid rounds, you know? And we'll take the herbs. And I think we are good. I think that's a quite Oh jeez, I didn't even realize. I can just hold 30 grenades. <laughs> Made in the US survey. All right, so let's go uncover another dark secret of Chief Chief Irons. I almost called him Chief Birkin. Jeez. You gonna burst out of any walls? No. Again, every single time I'm expecting, okay. <laughs> ah, Sherry. Yeah. Sherry, you're okay. I'm glad to see you're safe, Claire. Okay, is that it? <laughs> Can we talk to you at all? No? No, can't even talk to you. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so what is this again? The sacrifice dies by the claw of the jaguar. The, its blood forms a serpent that poisons the earth. An eagle glistens bathed in blood, and the gateway of doom will open. <laughs> Alright, so Jaguar. No. Okay, maybe. Well, I figured the sacrifice would be on top. Serpent. And. No, no, no. I don't want to read that. Again. Hit X on accident. And Eagle. And the gateway to do the gateway to doom is a piece of paper. <laughs> Mail to the chief. All right. To Mister Brian I Brian Irons, <laughs> chief. I cannot say that name for the life of me. Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. We have lost the Mansion Lab facility due to the actions of the renegade operative, Albert Wesker. Fortunately, his interference will have no lasting effect upon our, research, our continued virus research. Our only present concern is the presence of the remaining STARS members, Redfield, Valentine, Burton, Chambers, and Vickers. <laughs> Every time I hear Brad Vickers' names, all I can think of is like, what is it, the Vickers chest vapor rub? <laughs> if, it come, if it comes to light that the stars have any evidence as to the activities of our research, dispose of them in such a manner that would appear to be purely accidental. Continue to monitor their progress and make certain their public knowledge does not go public. Annette will continue to be your contact throughout this affair. William Birkin <laughs> I have deposited the amount of US $10,000 to the account for your services this term as per our, our agreement. The development of the G-Virus scheduled to replace the T-Virus is near completion. Once completed, I am certain that I will be appointed to be a member of the, of the Executive Board for Umbrella Inc. It is imperative that we proceed with extreme caution. Redfield and the remaining STARS members are still attempting to uncover inform information on the project. Continue to monitor their activities and block all attempts to investigate the underground research facilities. William Birkin. We have a problem. 
I have received information informing me that Umbrella HQ has sent spies to recover my research on the G-Virus. There are an, an, an unknown number of agents involved. They must not be allowed to take this project away from me as it represents my entire life's work. Search the city thoroughly for any suspicious persons, detain any such individuals by whatever means deemed necessary, and contact me immediately through Annette. With these precautions, any possible threat should be eliminated. I will not allow anyone to steal my work on the G-Virus, not even an umbrella. William Birkin. <laughs> Alright, so what do we have over here? Aha! This is an elevator? Oh, so is that the elevator that we couldn't use with Chris? Or Leon, or whatever his name is. It would seem so. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. It appears to go down. Claire! I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? No way. You're actually gonna wait. Come on. I wouldn't wait there. <laughs> I wouldn't even leave her there. Come on. She's safer with you than just hanging out in Chief Burke and, or Chief Iron's office. I keep getting their names confused. <laughs> All right. So. Nope. Okay. So this is not the elevator I thought it was. We still have the sewers area to contend with. I wasn't sure if I heard a noise. Get on, get, get on your guard, Claire. I do not like that there are manacles hanging from the walls. I do not like this one little bit. I do not want to know what's happening with Chief Irons down here. And whatever her name is. <laughs> the, the mayor's daughter. In fact, this is the last place I want to be right now. <laughs> so you've made it this far. Not bad, girl. But I'm not letting anyone leave my town. Everyone's gonna die. Calm down, Chief. What happened? Shut up! You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you must know, it's the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bioweapons. Superior to the T-Virus in every way. Is the genius behind the project. William Birkin? I'm sure you've already seen this little girl running around here somewhere. Sharing, isn't it? In case you haven't already figured it out, the monster that's been tearing my precinct apart is yet another product of the G-Virus. An ultimate bio -weapon. Umbrella must be trying to cover its tracks. But if I have to go, I'm going to take you with me. What the? <laughs> well. Can't really feel pity for you, but Jesus, that animation was ridiculous. Uh, I mean, I yeah, disturbing stuff. I'll bet. I mean, I understand that uh, it's changing screens, so it won't look that well. But still, that was pretty silly. <laughs> so it was kind of hard for me to hear. So apparently. Mr. Tall, Gray, and, uh, whatever. Formalin, chloroform, and other chemicals, and parts of the human body, 
Lovely. That's exactly why I didn't want to go down here. The soft, fresh blood is smeared on the blade. What have you been doing, Chief Irons? Oh, God. This is almost worse than I expected, because there's nothing in here. Which means he's, got, he's gotten away with this. Um... So does that mean that, uh, Mr. Mr. Tall Gray and not so handsome? Oh, hello. Ah. Wait, wait, wait. Can I make the joke? I, I can't even tell if I can make the joke. I I can't tell if his arms are missing. I can't, or parts of his arms. Looks like it's only his lower body. Ah, I can't say he's been disarmed. Damn it. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, Chief Irons, now it looks like you don't even have a leg to stand on. I don't know, it's not as good. <laughs> but anyway, to finally say it, so does that mean that uh, Tall, Gray, and Ugly is actually a tyrant? Hmm, maybe. At least that's what I sort of was getting from his little thing. Oh my god. What? Hello? Looks like we've got a G-Virus guy to deal with. A gyrant! <laughs> Can we just run by you? Well, I'm gonna shoot you first. I have been... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That did a lot more damage than I thought it was going to. I couldn't even use a healing item to, like, save myself. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, then. I gotta sit through a couple cutscenes to get back to where we were. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil with Mio Fu. This time I think I'm gonna bring a few more healing items. I think I'm gonna need them. <laughs> anyway, see you guys next time, I guess. Take it easy.